Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you my 5 minute flawless foundation routine. It's super easy and you only need a few products. Here I have my eyebrows done as well as my eye makeup, but other than that and moisturizer, I don't have any makeup on. I'm going to start off by applying an illuminating product all over my face. My favorite one right now is the Girl Meets Pearl Liquid Pearl for Face by Benefit. And I apply this before my foundation because I want my skin to have a luminous finish. Here I'm just pushing that into the areas of my face where my foundation is most likely to wear off during the day because it also acts as a primer. So skin to me shouldn't look completely matte because that's just not how healthy skin looks in real life. So I almost always use an illuminator under my foundation because it makes my skin look like I'm glowing from within without looking oily. So speaking of foundation, today I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Perfecting Luminous Foundation in the shade 01 Beast, and I'm just dotting that all over my face to make the blending process easier. Now it's time to blend. And this little orange sponge is my secret to flawless skin, every time. Every time I use a foundation, if I blend it out with a beauty sponge, it always looks flawless. My favorite is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which is what I'm using here. And you just run it under water until it doubles in size, squeeze the excess water out, and then it's ready to use. This sponge is a fantastic tool to use when you're blending out your foundation because it smooths the foundation over fine lines and pores while eliminating any cakey areas. If you've been having trouble with your foundation because you find that it looks too cakey and thick on your face, even if you aren't really using that much, then give this sponge a go because I'm certain you'll see a difference. So here I'm just continuing to spread the foundation by bouncing the sponge around my face with a flat part to cover the most surface area. Now I'm going to cover my dark circles. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Corrector and with a flat concealer brush, I'm going to apply that under my eyes. This is quite a thick concealer, so I use it on days like today where I didn't really get a good sleep and my eyes need some extra attention because they're quite dark. I'm also going to put whatever is left on the brush around my nose and the corners of my mouth. Then I'm going to go in and start blending the concealer with my ring finger. I always start with my finger first because the heat from your finger will melt the concealer a bit and make it easier to blend. And I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, but the best finger to use when dealing with the areas around your eyes is your ring finger because it's the gentlest of all your fingers. Anyway, just go ahead and blend the concealer upwards towards your cheekbones and also in a triangle shape underneath your eyes to simultaneously highlight this area of your face. Go ahead and blend the concealer under your other eye and then around your nose and mouth. When you're satisfied that the concealer is spread out evenly, blend it out further with the Miracle Sponge to diffuse the concealer and make it look more natural. Continue until the concealer is well blended. The final step is powder. Today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Powder, but you can use your favorite. With a fluffy brush, pick up some of the powder and gently pat that onto the areas that you've applied concealer on and only on those areas, otherwise you might end up looking a bit cakey. Also, try not to sweep the brush across your face because you might disturb the concealer underneath. So that's it for my flawless foundation routine. Easy, right? Here I am after I've applied some blush and lipstick. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!